Good morning, Grade Three students. I am Ubar Abzal, your Maths teacher. Hope so. You are all fine. Let's start our today's lesson. Our today's topic is equivalent fractions. You have already read about fraction, and you know that fraction is a part of whole. For example, I am having a circle, and this circle is divided into seven equal parts. Some parts are colored. Can you see how many parts are colored? Yes, two parts are colored. When I will write these colored parts in fractional form, I will write down two by seven. Students, you know fraction has two parts. One is called numerator and other is called denominator. Now the question is how to make an equivalent fraction? To make an equivalent fraction, we will multiply. Or divide the numerator and denominator with same number. This number can be two, three, four, or any other up to your choice. First of all, we will learn how to make an equivalent fraction by multiplication. I am having a fraction one by three. I will make an equivalent fraction from one by three. I have taken three to multiply with numerator and denominator. When I will multiply one with three, I will get three. When I will multiply three with three, I will get nine. So the new equivalent fraction is three by nine. Now we will learn how to make an equivalent fraction by division. I am having ten by twelve a fraction, so I will divide numerator and denominator with same number. This time I have taken two. When I will divide ten by two, I will get five. When I will get twelve by two, I will get six. So the new equivalent fraction is five by six. I hope now you can make equivalent fractions. This is the time for some home assignment. Copy these questions on your notebook, solve them, and mail me. If you have any question about this lesson, you can contact me on my email that is shafaknafe seven ninety two at the rate gmail dot com. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.